Most Dangerous Tourist Destinations Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. Are you planning your next vacation? We all know the thorough work that goes into that sort of thing. If you're looking for a place to give you a thrill or locations to avoid, then this is the list for you. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Caminito del Rey El Caminito del Rey, or the King's Little Path, only measures 3 feet in width and stands over 330 feet above the gorge's river. This incredibly narrow walkway is located in a canyon in El Choro, Malaga, Spain. Construction began in 1901 and finished in 1905, but it wasn't until 1921 did King Alfonso XIII cross the path himself as a gesture for the inauguration of the nearby dam. This path appears more wooden, but the original track was made of concrete and steel. Over the years, El Caminito fell into disrepair and was even partially closed down. It earned its title of the most dangerous walkway in the world after five deaths between 1999 and 2000. In 2015, the government officially opened it again. It is now supposedly safe, but walk across at your own risk. The Half Dome From afar, the Half Dome, located in Yosemite National Park, doesn't look very threatening at all. The real danger comes when you attempt to climb it. This granite dome has three mostly rounded sides and one sheer face. In the late 1800s, American geologist Josiah Dwight Whitney of the California Geological Survey described Half Dome as perfectly inaccessible, which gives us the impression that you probably shouldn't, you know, try to access it. However, in 1875, a route was created consisting of iron eye bolts drilled into the smooth granite. Nowadays, hikers use a different method. This method includes a trail that started with several hundred feet of stairs and then a path of braided steel cables. This route often gets crowded with 1,000 hikers climbing it per day in the summer. Even with the cables, fatal falls have still happened. You're also at risk for lightning strikes the closer you are to the summit. Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge The Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge opened in 1968. It's a formidable site along China's famous river. The bridge itself is double-decked, the upper deck measuring 15,000 feet long, connecting to the China National Highway. The lower deck spans 22,000 feet long and is a double-track railway part of the Beijing-Shanghai Railway. Over 80,000 vehicles drive through the bridge every day. In short, this bridge has a lot going on. Upon its completion, it was considered an engineering feat and was the first heavy bridge built and designed by China. Many people love taking pictures and riding along, but beware when choosing the pedestrian route. Over 2,000 people fall from this 230-foot tall bridge every year, many of them unfortunately doing it on purpose. North Korea even though residents of this East Asian country rarely leave, it is possible to travel to North Korea for vacation purposes. People do it all the time, but be wary. The government strictly controls all forms of tourism. Interactions between outsiders and local citizens are limited, though some say those rules have relaxed over the years. Still, don't expect to get to know too many North Koreans during your stay. Only up to 6,000 travelers from Western countries visit North Korea every year, which may be more than you might have thought. As of this year, it was reported that there had been an influx of Chinese tourists coming to North Korea. That rise in visits appears to be in correlation with the Chinese president's visit to Pyongyang. The Cliffs of Mohair Rising to an elevation of 209 feet, the Cliffs of Mohair are no joke, and you shouldn't ever be skipping around the edge for some beautiful Instagram pics. You'll find these sea cliffs in County Clare, Ireland, with waves from the Atlantic Ocean crashing at the bottom of this rocky terrain. Don't play with your life. Stay on the designated path installed by Clare County Council, which was designed so that you could experience the best and safest view of the area. Around 1.5 million people visit the cliffs every year, and you've probably already seen this landscape, featured in movies such as The Princess Bride and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The Verzatska Dam. You can call it the Verzatska Locarno or Contra Dam. Either way, bungee jumping from this thing is going to be one of the most dangerous things you will ever do in your life, if you decide to visit, that is. The dam did not become a popular bungee spot until 1995. That year, the James Bond film Goldeneye included an opening scene of the main character jumping from the top of the dam. It is the fourth tallest dam in Switzerland, standing at a height of 720 feet. 
Death Valley. Death Valley earned its name for a reason. It's difficult for too many living things to sustain themselves when temperatures can reach as high as 134 degrees Fahrenheit or 56 degrees Celsius. This desert valley, located in the Mojave Desert of Eastern California, is one of the hottest places in the world. If you ever visit during warmer seasons, remember to bring a lot of water. Humans can survive no longer than 14 hours out here without any fluids. Even if you go during colder months, Death Valley temperatures are un bearably cold. Acapulco de Juarez. Most people know this place better by its shorter name, Acapulco. This city and major seaport sits in the Mexican state of Guerrero along the Pacific coast. Acapulco serves as one of the oldest and most prosperous beach resorts in Mexico, coming into prominence during the mid-20th century. However, it's not just a tropical paradise here. The homicide rate is among the highest in the world, at a ratio of 103 for every 100,000 people. The streets a little farther down from the fancy resorts are lined with uncollected trash. The the amount was so immense that it was declared a health emergency in 2018. The danger comes in other ways, too. People love jumping headfirst from the La Quebrada cliffs into the ocean, an activity that's had its fair share of fatalities. Rio de Janeiro. Much farther down south from Acapulco and into the next continent, you'll find Rio de Janeiro. This Brazilian city is the second most populous municipality in the country, home to 13 million people. It's an old place, as far as cities in the Americas go, founded back in 1565. It ranks as one of the most visited cities in the Southern Hemisphere. With its drawing points like Carnival, their music, food, and famous landmarks, it's no wonder people love coming here. Beware, though. There are high rates of mugging and pickpocketing on the streets of Rio. When World Atlas ranked the 50 most dangerous cities in the world, 17 of them were located in Brazil. Also, take a close look at the beaches you visit. Sites like Ipanema have high levels of water pollution. Yellowstone National Park if you've never been to Yellowstone National Park on a hot day for a family vacation, then you're missing out on something quintessentially American. Around four to six million people visit Yellowstone every year, with their peak season starting from May up to September. What are the risks you'll possibly come across here? For one, you should be on the lookout for grizzly bears. On average, Yellowstone reports at least one bear attack every year. Another part of the park you should be extra careful around are the geysers and hot springs. Yellowstone contains about 10,000 steam vents, geysers, hot springs, and mud pots. Reports of visitors sustaining severe burns or fatalities from the geothermal attractions are rare, but be on alert. Water temperatures can reach anywhere from 100 to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the Yellowstone National Park website, the number of injury incidents is most likely higher than actually reported. New Smyrna Beach At first glance, there doesn't seem to be anything frightening about New Smyrna Beach. This city in Volusia, Florida is located on the state's east coast. Visitors can partake in several activities such as golfing, riding motorboats, hiking, sailing, and fishing. Their beach is one of the most visited in the state, and you'll often encounter beachgoers swimming, surfing, and scuba diving. National Geographic listed New Smyrna Beach as one of the top 20 surf towns in the U.S. However, there is a threat lurking just below the surface of the water. Cue the Jaws theme song. This beach is known to have had the most shark bites encountered in the world. Victoria Falls, aka Devil's Pool. Along with the boundaries between Zambia and Zimbabwe is Victoria Falls. Locals refer to it as the smoke that thunders. This waterfall is the largest waterfall in the world with a width of 5,604 feet and a height of 354 feet. However, it is neither the highest nor widest waterfall and only earns the title of the largest because of its combined assets. Why do people give it the nickname of Devil's Pool? Because at the top of the falls is a rock pool where people can swim and even hang their legs off the side. Swimming is only allowed between September and December, since a natural rock barrier forms, providing some protection. Still, many have slipped and fallen over anyways. Pamplona. The capital of Navarre, Spain, is Pamplona, and home of the infamous event known as the Running of the Bulls. Other than running for your life to avoid being trampled and thrown about by an angry bull, Pamplona is a relatively safe town to visit. There are other bull runs around the world, but the one that takes place here is by far the most popular and has been televised for the last three decades. Bull runs are held every year during the San Fermin Festival between July 6th to the 14th. The city sets up wooden fences to direct the bulls and blocks off smaller side streets. The sound of a rocket at 8 8 a.m. sets off, letting the runners know that the corral gates holding the bulls back are open. After the second rocket, they release the bulls. Up to 100 people are injured every year, but the event has been held for centuries at this point, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. 
The Trift Bridge. It looks more like a ruler or even a toothpick, but this thin strip of wooden planks nailed together is a bridge, albeit a pedestrian only one. The Trift Bridge sits in the Swiss Alps, towering 330 feet over the rocky terrain below. It runs a length of 560 feet and is categorized as a simple suspension bridge. To reach the bridge, you must take a cable car, followed by a gondola. Afterward, you must hike for one and a half hours uphill until you get to the point you can actually cross Trift. Hope you have really good balance. Chernobyl. Before the area known as Chernobyl was referred to as such, it was the city of Pripyat, Ukraine. Chernobyl was the name of the nearby power plant. However, everything changed in 1986 when a nuclear reactor at the plant caused a catastrophic disaster. Tens to hundreds of thousands of people were affected by the explosion and widespread radiation. That happened 33 years ago. Located 65 miles away from Kiev, Chernobyl stood as a ghost town for decades. The entire city was abandoned because of the high levels of radiation. However, in 2011, Ukraine opened up parts of the city for tourists. Before we reveal number one, we have a question for you. Is there a place you were always too scared to take a trip to? Would you still go? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Mount Everest Located in the cold environment of the Himalayas, Mount Everest is a tall mountain surrounded by other huge mountains. You would have to be slightly insane or outrageously brave to want to reach the peak of this monstrous formation, and there have been many who tried. Not everyone made it back down, though, at least not alive. About 300 people, if we're really estimating. Mount Everest has an elevation of 29,029 feet. Around 1,200 climbers come here every year and only reach half the summit. Oh! <laughs>